what you learned in school. Never mind what your parents told you, and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only people now on, you, need to, now on, to, you need to listen to are on, these guys. Listen. Are these guys? For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. And when your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 Okay, Nate, can we finally have your family leave the <laughs> yeah, studio? I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, we're on the air now. You're yeah. going to have to leave. Boy, you got a weird family now. Yeah, no, I do. I do. That's true. Well, if you haven't guessed, this is our Halloween show. That's all we had was right there. That's that's it. So I think we're done. <laughs> we're done. I think See ya. Good so night. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, happy Halloween. Let's go eat some candy. Ha- happy Halloween, Steve. Steve's our engineer in the back room over there. He's not mic'd up because we don't allow him to talk. Correct. Which is a good thing for all of us. But uh, he's dressed up. No, he's... I'm 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 here and he's he's not dressed this, up. He, yeah, he he wears a fairy outfit all the time. I see. Okay. Halloween is uh you know just in a few days. Two days. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> yeah, it's on Saturday this year. You got young on the thirty first. You got youngins, they gonna go out Halloween? Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Are they are you gonna yep. take your hearse? Uh I don't know because we've got some extra tag alongs and it makes it a little more difficult. You just throw them all in the back. Yeah. That's what I usually do. Yeah. Put them in the back. Unsafe, leave, not leave, buckled in. I leave the door open. And Doors open. And there's rollers. So do you turn on the light? Sit, I turn the light on. Yeah. <clears throat> Play the siren? Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, right. The siren. Because uh, <clears throat> every hearse has a siren. Well, it sounds like this. <clears throat> <laughs> over and over and over again. It's not again. a bad idea. Yeah. I think you could do it. So anyways, it's uh, October 29th, and... Uh, 2015, we are in the Freedom Studios. We're on the 15th floor. We like it there. Yeah, we do. Of the Patriot Towers in Liberty City. Our desk is brought to you by My Parents Open Carry. But where are we, Nate? Transylvania. Transylvania. It's a good place to be two Uh, days before Halloween, or a really bad place to be. I'm not sure which, but... Your blood. We we we, We did sign the permission slip for... A sixth grader to watch a PG horror flick in school tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Here in Transylvania? Here in Transylvania. It's called Hotel Transylvania. Oh, that's which, nice. That's, so. a, that's a cute little... It's a cartoon, right? Really, really glad that I had to sign my name to is, make that possible. Is, <laughs> the school couldn't make that decision. No, they couldn't. I mean, I, it's not that I want them making decisions, well, but, guess, but they do really bad things that they yeah. don't ask permission. Right? What... But, um, is that that's a Disney film? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. They're all the same, aren't they? Uh, they're pretty much uh, yeah. the cartoons. Whatever. It's it's what? not bad. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to watch that. Uh, I think in the hotel room here in Transylvania, you were watching uh, Zombie Land. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, so scary. It's up there on the zombie comedies. I'd say just Shaun behind of the, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, that's great. I think those are probably. If you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead. Netflix well, it, you know, Fido, Fido is up there too. Have you seen that one, where they have the 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 pet like helper servant zombies? That one's up there. I've never seen that one. Okay, no. yeah, I have to do that. <clears throat> Let's mm, see yeah. what else is going on. Um, well, we're going to have typically our day in history and our trivia. Oh, all right. I also have some Halloween <clears throat> jokes. You want me to do one? Throughout? I'll do one throughout the show. Just one. That'd be great. Uh, no, I mean one every minute. Brian, I'm kind of sick today too. So oh yeah, to we got. I me. wanted to mention that Nate is uh, dying. Apparently, yeah, well, he, he. We all are eating too much processed meat. Yeah, that's a bacon, <laughs> bacon, bacon. That's some bacon. Love bacon. And so the thing that the, 
look, that really annoys me because people take that to heart, right? I mean, my wife came home and she's like, I saw these studies that processed meat are causing cancer. Yeah. I said, well, no. No, Your that's not what it like says. <laughs> yeah, Is she listening? Like no, no, she doesn't. Here. Sell, she has a <laughs> very beautiful, beautiful voice. Sexy voice, yeah. <laughs> look, what, what, what the, first of all, it's the World Health Organization, right? In my mind, not known for right. excellent research. Right. Uh, all they said is that eating processed meat might raise your chances of getting uh, colon cancer. Yeah. Right? Like a 16% increase, which doesn't mean that you're 16%, like, you know, 16% of people are going to right. get it. It means it went from like one millionth of a percent right. up 16% of one millionth well, of a percent. So it's slightly higher. That's like uh, uh, statistics are great because I tried to explain this to my mom. I said, you know, if they come out with a study and they said you're twice as likely uh, to die from this, you know, than average. Well, if the average is one in a hundred million, now it's two in a hundred million. Right. That's it, yeah, twice it's, it's, as it's likely. The, it's the same. So you got to look the at the scale. Um, but yeah, it, it scared a lot of people. And I'll make people really angry because they're comparing it to how dangerous smoking is. Where apparently, right. if you smoke, it raises your chance of lung cancer by like twenty five hundred percent or something. But the average person's percent, the chance of getting lung cancer is pretty low. Right. Most people don't get lung cancer. And so even a big increase, you're still, still have a, pretty small, still relatively small. Uh, so what we're saying is enjoy your bacon once in a while. Yeah, and your if cigarettes. You're, if you're eating a three pounds of it a day, probably not good. Having a couple of strips with I, your breakfast, I, I don't probably even, fine. Three pounds a day, I don't even know. Well, it was pretty That's ridiculous because it said it's what, a lot of salt. It, the, the, the one thing I read said for every 1.8 ounces that you eat in a day, it increases your chances by 16%. Oh, I don't believe that. Yeah, me either. So yeah. if you if you did eat six pounds, yeah. you, you've increased your chances like a ton of percent. Might as well throw another pound 16 on times there. six, whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah, we're not good. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. We were trying to do some math before the show. It Advanced was, degrees it was difficult. and all we kinds were like, of stuff. We can't 125 add. plus 15 is what? And we, and we, we gave up. Practice. We just gave up. Yeah. We didn't have a calculator. We were, <laughs> we didn't. We were screwed. I no, and the sixth grader is out with her mom somewhere, yeah, so she so couldn't help us. Wasn't but, helping us at all. Oh, well. Uh, so yeah, so eat bacon uh, once in a while, and yeah. I don't eat a lot of bacon. You know, that's Ma too bad. Maybe I once do. a week. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, but uh, and having said that, I had uh, a slice of pizza for dinner with bacon on it. I uh, I had a slice of pizza. Well, several slices of pizza with pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> pepperoni's processed meat. It is. Yeah. Uh, well, so the, the and what's the definition the, of the process? green peppers that you buy at Meyer? Also processed. Yeah, I mean, if you buy mushrooms, fresh, organic, and you chop them up, they've been processed. Yeah, what does processed right. mean? you got to define what that is. So, All right, so, Nate. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We, <laughs> we got into the heavy stuff too quickly, didn't we? Yes, we did. I'm making levity of it now. What treat do eye doctors give oh. out on Halloween? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Candy cornea. Oh, that is, that's, 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 that's not funny. Do you have a funny one to no, give us or no? no? That was You're it. done? No, okay, I, I well, can do another one. No, I'd love to do it. I love. I got, I got hundreds. No, I don't oh, have hundreds. Geez. I'll save one for a little bit later. All right. I want to talk a little bit real quick just to get out of the way because we do have a lot of listeners um, in the state of Michigan. Well, de okay. December... I <laughs> It's a relative term. Yeah. I, well, we have 16% more listeners in Michigan than any other state. <laughs> yeah, which still, we have three. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Michigan, I think, was the last state that had gun boards, where if you wanted a concealed pistol license, you had to go before a county board. And even though we were shell issue, they still wanted to pretend like they had some power. And so they yeah. would make things difficult because they were mostly anti-gun. And not every county right. required everybody to right. go in front right. of the board, but all the all the applications were reviewed. Right. So we changed that, and now uh, you apply at the county clerk, and then it's the Michigan State Police's job to vet you and say yay or nay. So I was in a discussion with a former chief of police that well, should know better. Well, and vet, so, you, vet you based on the very objective criteria for getting state, a license. Right. Not meeting you face-to-face -face and seeing if you seem like a normal person. Yeah. Or if you're black or white, which is the reason why the Well, that's why gun bars were originated. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're white. Yeah, approved. Oh, your skin, your melatonin is a little heavy. Denied. But, but do you own land? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
So, uh, so I, I talked to this former chief, you know, and just happened to run into him. He brought it up, and he says, oh, I don't know what they're going to do, you know. Look, wh- what's the Michigan State Police going to do? They're going to have to hire hundreds of people because we had hundreds oh, of people yeah. on the gun boards. And, yeah. and um, you know, they're going to have – there's going to be now a state police gun board. <clears throat> I said – no, 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 no. They're just going to do background checks, you know. And, well, no, no, they're going to do the same thing, and uh, they're going to call you in and stuff. I well, said, they're not well, supposed to. I said, well, I don't think they are. <laughs> no. And he says, and, and how do you appeal it? What if they deny you? Do you, you go before the Michigan State Police Gun Board? I said, there is no board. <laughs> says, you go to the court, circuit court. It's in the statute. Oh, no, it's no. You, that's not the first place. First place you go is to the gun board. Mm. There are no gun boards. Going back and forth. So I click 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 and did a search and later that day i emailed him says here's the law you know what you do you appeal to the county clerk or to the county uh, circuit court the circuit court yeah wow and there's no gun board no gun board so i wanted to clarify that a little bit so that's cool it it should kind of streamline the process you hope for for the applicant anyway i think right? i think there's going to be an issue they might have to hire a person or two yeah but really, they're not going to be doing a lot more than they already were because yeah. the county board sent all of your stuff to the state police to do the background check. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. and then they sent them on to the FBI. So you get cleared through the FBI, the state police, and then yay or nay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, you so, won't you won't okay. have to go to a gun board. Yeah, and it's nice uh, because they established the price. They can't a- uh, ask for. Additional fees, like some did, the photographs included now in the price, mm, and mm-hmm. comes out with a, a credit card type license instead of a cardboard laminated permit. So, well, yeah, we, that's an- what, we entered the 17th century. Yeah. Well, that's what I got um, two years ago when I renewed mine here in Clinton County. Yeah. It was a uh, credit card thing. Yeah, credit card thing. So, yeah, some of the counties nice. were doing it, some some <clears throat> weren't. Yeah, yep. My wife just renewed hers and got hers back. I believe they were. Uh, before this change, they could charge more for that type of license or something. Right, they charge like ten dollars for lamination. Yeah, I, uh, oh, for lamination. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then they charge ten dollars for a photograph if you didn't have one. Yeah, yeah. So really, they're just making it easier for us to not have freedom, which is good. Right. I mean, you, you do. Uh, they, while it is a, they, a good when step, when they slip it in, now they're using lube a little bit instead yeah, of not. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Well, yes, this is Crude, uh, sort of example. good news. It's relative, right? Because it's it's like okay, it's a little easier for us, but unfortunately, it becomes something like the uh, 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 payroll deduction, uh, automatic withholding for taxes, where you it, it just becomes so easy and efficient that it's not a big deal anymore. So you go along with it and you stop complaining about it. Fortunately, with this, you still have to write a hundred and ten dollar check or whatever it is to get it. So people will still be angry once every five years. Yeah, but if you divide that by five, it's not horrible, but it's still too much. There shouldn't be any permit. Yes. Yeah, oh, and, and so this, my point. this former chief of police. Uh, Which city? I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Not going to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, he, she said, <laughs> I made a comment because I, I, I know. I chief, know, he, she. I know this chief for years, and. Oh, when you lived in Detroit? He's retired now. Oh, he is? Uh-huh. Mm. And uh, I said, well, but, you know, you're anti-gun anyways. He goes, well, I'm not anti-gun. Yeah, I carried one every day while I was on duty. Yeah. He said, I'm not <laughs> anti-gun. And I said, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you don't really stand up for the Second Amendment. He goes, what do you mean? He says, well, I don't like open carry. I hate that. Yeah, right. Well, I said, yeah. no, I'm not talking about that. I said, what's your views on constitutional carry? Well, what do you, what's that? You know, no license to carry. Oh, well, no, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I right. think everybody should be checked and do background checks. <laughs> right. and all that. I said, see, there you go. Yeah. He's a butter. He gets along with Senator Green, doesn't he? I think he does. Yeah. yeah. And, the, and MCGRO and all them. Oh. Anyways. Yikes. Okay. Well, let's move on to something more fun. I was uh, looking at our prep page here, and I did have one more soundbite, but I, I queued it up here. Okay. Muslims get more.